Hey guys, Bambino here, and in my Challenger 300 at Key West, and I'm going to show you how you can pull in external windows into the Oculus Rift View, so you can do things like look at ForeFlight right in your lap. Hey guys, Bambino back with another video, and I've been getting a lot of questions about how to import windows into the Oculus Rift View. This will only work with Oculus Rift, and you're going to need the new Oculus Home. I think it's 2.0. It's in beta right now. You can download that. There's videos and instructions on how to do that, so you can search Google to figure that out. But once you get that installed, I'm going to show you how you can import a window right into your cockpit here. And it could be any window that's on your desktop. It could be an iPad mirror. It can be a YouTube video. It can be a live video feed. For example, when I do long flights in this Challenger, sometimes they're two or three hours. I like to bring in a video, maybe watch the Olympics or watch a belt ball game or something like that. And I'll have it right over there so I could just turn and watch while I'm flying. So let me show you how to do this. So first, on your Oculus controller now, you don't see the button here, but there's a little button below the joystick. It looks like an Oculus logo. You press that. And that brings you to Oculus Home. And then what you want to do is you want to have the window set up on your desktop that you want to import. That's important, okay? So then you're going to go over here. You see where it says Oculus Desktop. You point to that and you click on that. And you'll see Monitor 1, Monitor 2. Now, I have my window on Monitor 1. That's my actual desktop monitor. So I'm going to click that. And now I'm taking a look at a virtual view of my desktop monitor. There's the X-Plane 2D mirror screen, and this is the window that I want to import, which is basically Air Server that's running at iPad, okay, and at four, four flight on iPad. So what I'm going to do is point at that, and I hit the, or the palm button on the touch controller, and that grabs that window, okay? And now if you look here, I've got the ability to manipulate it. I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger, I can move it around in space, okay? So what I want to do is I want to make it small enough so that it's manageable in the cockpit. And then I'm going to move it to a place where I want to put it. So I want to make sure my view is centered, and I want to put it right here, because that's probably right about where my yoke is. And it may take you a few times to get this centered correctly, but you can see that, that white diamond right there is the center of your view. So I'm going to put it right here like this. I'm going to let it go. And then this is real important. There's a little pin button right there. You want to pin it to your experience. You just point your Oculus Touch Control, and you push the trigger and boom, now it's pinned. Now, if I go over here and I click the X-Plane icon, that's X-Plane running in Oculus Rift, and watch what happens. Now I'm back in the cockpit of the C300, and there's my ForeFlight right there. Now I'm going to take my iPad, and I'm actually scrolling around. I'm making, I can make it smaller or bigger. I could do anything I can on the iPad. So I can actually have my iPad on my lap, and this is mirroring exactly what's happening, which is very, very cool. Really, really helpful for navigation so you can stay within the immersion, never have to lift up the headset. And again, this is applicable for any type of window. It can be a YouTube video. It can be a live TV feed. For example, I have Direct TV, and I can bring in Direct TV and watch anything I want right in the cockpit. So that's pretty simple in how you do it. And again, you're going to need Oculus Home 2.0, but if you go on Oculus's website, you can figure out how to get that beta and you get your windows right into your cockpit. So hopefully this was helpful, guys. Hit that like button if you like what you saw, and don't forget to subscribe to Bambino Games for more helpful tutorials on X-Plane 11. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.